that's the thing. We don't take our own emotions seriously. You know when you betray you, you think that you can just people please your way into, into relationships and you're gonna be happy. <laughs> so thankful y'all are here i'm breaking fine home here and if so welcome <laughs> mm -hmm. okay uh, growing up in the society that we grow up in today women are basically praised for not having needs like we're praised for putting other people before us we're praised for valuing everyone and everybody outside of us except for ourselves like it's almost like a competition of who can sacrifice themselves the most who can be the most humble and the most uh convenient for the people around them like those are the women who should get the praise sometimes we internalize what other people might feel about about us we internalize the disappointment that we believe other people will feel if we don't show up for them every single time, if we don't tend to their every need every single time. And so we try to get ahead of the curve of disappointing people or making people mad by being people pleasers. We feel like if we just people please, then nobody can say I wasn't there. Nobody can say I didn't help. Nobody can say whatever. You have to let people down sometimes. You have to be comfortable enough with yourself to let other people down and not feel bad about yourself. You have to value yourself enough to say, I will show up when I'm capable of showing up. I will help others after I've helped myself. This doesn't make you selfish. This doesn't make you some evil woman or, oh, she only cares about herself. Of course, some people say that when they can't use you, Anyone who loves and cares for somebody will appreciate that person for doing what they have to do for their mental, physical, financial, and every other health priority. Like women have been conditioned to believe that it's okay that people should guilt us into sacrificing our health. Women have been made to feel like it's okay to give other people the permission to call us all types of names and make us feel bad for being emotional, having needs, speaking up on those needs, wanting to be protected, wanting to be heard. Stop caring about other people's emotions to a fault. Stop caring about other people's emotions to a point where now you're resentful because you've literally carried everybody else's emotions on your back since you've been alive, since you've come into consciousness as a woman. At the end of your life, nobody else can take responsibility for if you've enjoyed your life or not other than you. Nobody can, nobody can take the responsibility of you fulfilling your dreams and your goals and becoming the woman you want to be other than you. Nobody can fulfill that. And so that's why as women, it's not only important that we stop valuing ourselves for being convenient, but you have to ask yourself, like, did I do anything I wanted to do? Did I live a life that feels good for me or deep in my heart do I feel resentful because I know all of my life force energy went to the external, went outward. As soon as I got a little bit of energy, I was spending it. As soon as I poured into my cup, my cup wasn't even halfway full. My cup was 1% full and I'm figuring out who I can give it to. So as a woman, you have to be comfortable with the fact that people may call you selfish. People may call you a bitch. People may call you whatever names they can come up with because you aren't becoming a battery for their life. You won't allow yourself to be drained and manipulated and deceived into being somebody who's just a pillar in their life. You don't want to be a pillar, a building block in somebody else's life. And I don't mean like our children or, you know, in, in our communities, we help each other. In our families, we help each other. I don't mean in that way. But so many women are sacrificing their very sense of self to stay in marriages, to stay in certain relationships, to stay at certain jobs, literally sacrificing a whole part of their authenticity 
in order to serve somebody else better. That's unhealthy, that's toxic, and it's not going to get you any results that you think it's going to get. And so that's why learning how to be in our feminine is not, it is a catchy topic. It is a popular topic right now, but learning how to be in your femininity simply means learning how to lean into who you are at your core. Everybody is a mix of femininity and masculinity. I have masculinity within me. I have femininity within me. But the thing is, a lot of women, especially here in America, especially black women, have been programmed to primarily operate in our masculine. So that's why we see so many women just putting out energy, putting out energy. It's this doing, doing, doing energy and they're running themselves ragged. They're full of resentment, they're bitter, they feel like nobody truly values them. And it's because they don't value themselves. They haven't learned how to tap into themselves. And so while femininity may be a buzzword, in all honesty, it's a very important movement. It's a very important awareness that we have now that you can be just as successful, you can be just as loving, just as kind, just as fruitful and abundant if you just sit back and allow God, allow your family, allow the people that you love to come through for you. Allow God to bless you. You don't have to always go out and do, 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 and figure out this and figure out that and be the first person people call. You don't have to do that. And it's hard to hear that if you've only operated in that energy so far. But again, the root of it is believing that you're only valuable because you're convenient. You're only valuable because people know that you're the one they can call. I think being in that energy, I'm going to be honest, y'all. Being in that people pleaser, I'm always the one to help, but nobody want to help me type of energy. That's actually the ego talking because you have the capability to put up boundaries. You have the capabilities and the strengths to say no, get somebody else to do it. You have that right, you have a voice. But as women, when we're programmed to not use that voice, when we're programmed to just go with the flow and do what everybody else says, we secretly build resentment around that ego. And so we start to feel like I got a big heart and everybody just use me, it ain't no good men. Everybody just takes me for granted. Nobody appreciates me. When really, did you take the time to appreciate yourself? Did you take the time to actually express what you needed in a healthy way? Or did you just push stuff to the side? Did you just say, you know, that really hurt my feelings or that this don't really feel right, but I'm just going to keep going. Every time you dismiss your intuition, every time you dismiss somebody else's behavior towards you that is hurtful, you're just building and adding to that pot of resentment that'll eventually come out in an outburst that will eventually spill over into you feeling like nobody cares for me, nobody values me. Did you know you can pull your energy back? Did you know that you don't have to be in that relationship? Did you know that you don't have to have that friend? Did you know that you have permission to cut anybody out of your life that doesn't suit your needs, that doesn't show up for you, that doesn't protect you in the ways that you need? Did you know that? And if you did it, I'm not bashing you because I didn't know that for the longest in my life. I didn't know that I could just not respond to somebody who took a month to text me back. I didn't know that I could say no to going to an event that I genuinely did not want to go to. I didn't see any benefit. It just didn't sit right in my heart. I didn't know I could just say no. I didn't know I didn't have to be superwoman for everybody with no excuse. I didn't know I could just opt out without explaining myself and going into all these details, you know? So as women, we have to learn how to stop giving a fuck. We have to learn how to stop being so convenient for everybody else. As women, we have to become comfortable with other people being uncomfortable. We have to start letting people come to us with a need rather than automatically assuming everybody wants us to help, automatically assuming we have to do all the work and becoming a handy woman emotionally, physically, mentally, and trying to get in front of everybody's needs. 
trying to get in front of everybody else's problems. Let other people handle their own problems sometimes. Like, take your hands off of it. Let other people struggle a little bit. Let other people look up the numbers and call the company. Let other people handle stuff sometimes. And if you have somebody that tries to make you feel bad or tries to down talk you because you're starting to pull back your energy and invest into yourself, that's somebody who will love to continue watching you sacrifice your life for them. And I'm gonna tell y'all this, if you consider yourself a people pleaser, if you consider yourself a woman who has a big heart and you always get played or something of that nature, you always get let down, understand that you have probably created a life where you're surrounded by nothing but people who only value you for being convenient. And this is coming from a woman who had to completely change the circle of people, the circle of energy that I allowed in my life because I realized when you're operating in a people pleasing energy, you tend to attract people and keep people in your life who value you for being a people pleaser, who value you for not having a opinion, who value you for knowing that they can do anything, say anything, or that if they have a problem, you'll always come through, you'll always give them money, you'll always show up, you'll always, always, always. It may be hard to start saying no. It may be, it may cause a break in relationships around you once you start investing your energy back into yourself because we create a life that suits how we treat and see ourselves. So again, once you're starting to step out of people please their energy, your entire life may shift and change. You may change jobs, you may get fired, you may end a relationship, long-term, short-term, you may end friendships, you may start to have different boundaries and relationships with your family. Your entire life is gonna change, but it's gonna change for the better. So start being comfortable with being a bitch. Start being comfortable with people saying, oh, see, see, shell, still, <laughs> Sally sell seashells by the sea sword, shit. <laughs> For real though, start being comfortable with people saying, oh, she's selfish. Oh, she thinks she's all that. I've gotten that my whole life because I'm quiet, I'm to myself, I'm reserved. Before I even knew about, you know, narcissism and people pleasing and energetics, I knew to a certain degree that I shouldn't expel all my energy to be liked, accepted, to stay in a relationship. Like I've always kind of had this knowing that like, I don't have to fake the phone for nobody. I don't have to pretend to be more excited to see somebody than I really am. Like I don't have to do that. So like you have to get comfortable with other people being uncomfortable in reaction to your authenticity. I understand as women, as people in general, we never want to see other people disappointed. We never want other other people to feel like we aren't excited to see them or we don't love them or, you know, we just aren't this excited energy with them. But like, if you don't feel it, you don't feel it. If you aren't excited to see somebody, you aren't excited. If you genuinely feel hurt about somebody's actions, you're genuinely hurt. We have to take our own emotions seriously. That's the thing. We don't take our own emotions seriously. We don't take our own heartache, our own pain and trauma seriously. And that's why you live a life that doesn't feel aligned. That's why you live a life that doesn't feel true to you because you're not being true to you. When your intuition was telling you, say no, don't go to that event, don't do it. But instead you chose protecting their feelings over your intuition. No wonder you feel resentful. You know when you betray you. You know when you go against something that you should have done, something that you should have said or not said. We don't give our own emotional intelligence enough credit. We don't give our own emotional bodies enough credit. You think that you can just people please your way into, into relationships and you're going to be happy. You think that you that you're just gonna suppress your identity, suppress your authenticity your whole life out of fear, and you're somehow gonna be happy. You're gonna be miserable. 
You're going to be mad at yourself in two years and five years, 10 years down the line because you didn't do what was on your heart and now you feel like it's too late and now you're mad at your mom, your daddy, your auntie, your sister. Now you're mad at everybody around you, not for holding you back, but for you believing that you had to suppress yourself in order to keep them happy. It's not their fault. Cause you gotta let them deal with it how you need to how they need to deal with it. You have to let the people outside of you handle their emotions because they're adults. Because they have autonomy over their lives. So you have to stop taking energetic and emotional responsibility over other people's emotions by making yourself convenient, by suppressing your authenticity, by not saying something because you're so scared about what they're gonna think. Fuck what they think. If you know you're kind, if you know that you've communicated yourself in a healthy way, there's nothing you can do outside of that. There's not, there's nothing you can do to appease a person who wants to stay in whatever emotion they're in. So if they're disappointed in you, let them be disappointed in you. That doesn't change your value. That doesn't change how successful you will be. That doesn't change anything except for your alignment or misalignment with that person. If you start to take care of yourself and now everybody around you is disappointed, guess what? They're not in alignment with your highest potential. They're not in alignment with your most healthy state of being. And you don't wanna be around those type of people anyway. If you start to tell people, no, I can't do that, I don't wanna do that, and they start to leave your life, they reject you, they belittle you, they rage at you or make you feel like, oh, who are you to have boundaries? Guess what? Great. That's perfect. They're showing you that they are not aligned with your highest self, with your highest potential. Learn to say no kindly, with all respect, no. Because the, the sooner you can start to say no and let people deal with their emotions accordingly, the quicker you will be aligned. But not only that, a lot of these same people will come back into your life, will return into your life and treat you with the respect that you've started to develop for yourself. It doesn't get easier to start, but it gets easier as you start. So if you made it to the end of this video, I am so thankful. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.